XRP continues to rise. Deaton's class action picks up more participants. The IRS is getting juiced. Kraken looks to IPO. Good news for Ripple. And Ripple's University Blockchain Research Initiative picks up new universities. If we haven't met before, my name's Frank Cho. I'm here to help you live a richer life. And on this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency, personal finance, and investing. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, do it now. That way I can keep you informed on all the latest news and updates. And hit that entry in the description for our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. We are rapidly approaching and I'll be giving away a Ledger Nano S and five crypto market caps. So we've got some great prizes and I'd love to have you here for the future. Now let's jump right into it. In the market, XRP is up over $1.40 today, Bitcoin over 55000 a nice green day across the board. Again, hopefully you were able to have some nice entry points on the dip. Now on Twitter here, Johnny e. Deaton, who we know is running the class action lawsuit and the motion to intervene in the SEC versus Ripple, has further Increase the number number of uh, XRP holders on the motion to intervene. It has climbed up to fifteen thousand five hundred and fifty-two. I am sure that number will continue to increase. As you can see, in the last week, it's already gone up another twenty-five percent. If you are interested in being part of that, he does have the entry form on his Twitter. It's pinned up to the top. I'll link it down below. That way you can easily find it. But if you did want to be part of that class action, go ahead and follow that link. Now, the IRS is going to be getting some additional funds if President Biden's plan does go through, seeking an additional $80 billion. This serves as just a further reminder that as government enforcement of policy continues to increase over time, as we see uh, policy enforcement through litigation in the SEC versus Ripple case, now as we see this happening with the IRS getting additional funds to pursue uh auditing individuals. Now they say it will just be high earners in corporations. However, expect it to trickle down to the masses. And especially if you are a crypto holder that has lots of juicy gains from the crypto markets, expect the IRS to want their cut. So as always, make sure that you are paying your taxes in the appropriate manner. If you need help, I highly advise you seek advice from a financial professional. I personally use an accountant to file my taxes even though I work in the finance profession because I like the comfort of knowing I have someone who spends all of their days focused on this one thing, uh, you know, at the helm of my taxes. So do consider getting a CPA if you have a complex tax situation. Now, Kraken is Looking at a potential IPO, multi-billion dollar investment trust backs Kraken ahead of possible listing. This is important because if you remember when Coinbase had its IPO, we saw a massive lift to the crypto market as a whole. So an IPO for Kraken could prove to be a similar boost for the market as a whole. The $5.3 billion investment trust, RIT Capital Partners, has acquired a stake in leading crypto exchange Kraken. The London-based trust formerly named Rothschild Investment Trust holds ties to the Rothschild banking family of England through Chairman Jacob Rothschild. In an April 12th note to investors, James Glass described the exchange as one of the world's biggest crypto exchanges having been founded in 2011. It has more than 6 million clients and is the fourth largest exchange by trading volumes. According to media reports, Kraken is considering going public through a direct listing in 2022 after seeing record trading volumes and new clients amid a surge in the price of Bitcoin. This is very important and something to look out for. It may not hit us in this cycle, but this could be a great recovery if we see uh, a move to a bear cycle and then the opportunity pop out out of another exchange being publicly listed. I think that this is really exciting. And so we'll look to the future on further uh, public listings for various exchanges with Kraken being one here. That is a very high possibility to happen within the next year. Link down below if you want to read more on this one. 
Ripple, here's the good news since the XRP lawsuit was first filed. This is information that's gleaned you know, and published here on AMB Crypto from things we've seen before. So he talks in reference to the interview on Thinking Crypto with Brad Garlinghouse, as well in, as in reference to some of the other uh, recently made public information. Contrary to expectations, uh, where there was an expectation that Ripple, the company, would be severely hurt by this legal action and XRP, the cryptocurrency, not digital asset security, but the cryptocurrency, XRP, uh, would have some of the backlash. We've seen it recover. Uh, but contrary to those expectations, Brad Garlinghouse revealed that there's mostly good news on this front, with the exec adding that the firm has onboarded 20-plus customers since the SEC filed. SEC filed the aforementioned lawsuit, so we know this. We've talked about several of them here on the channel. It's worth noting that he was quick to point out that all of these customers are based abroad, just like 90% of Ripple's user base. So even though this is a U.S.-based enforcement agency coming after Ripple, uh, it's important to remember that this is a global community and a global cryptocurrency with high levels of utilization outside the borders and jurisdiction of the United States of America. Now, one thing that he does point as we're talking about IPOs here, uh, yes, we have the Coinbase IPO. Yes, Kraken is looking at a possible one. But will Ripple IPO? Well, the one thing that he points out that I think is very important to understand is every IPO has to be approved by none other than the SEC. So while they're in an ongoing legal battle against the SEC, uh, you would not expect to see a Ripple IPO be approved. So to get to that point, we need to get through the lawsuit and then you can look to Ripple having an IPO at a future date. He is not uh, shooting this down by any stretch as a possibility, but in the short term, not highly uh, probable given the adversarial relationship and dynamic that we have seen recently with the SEC. Now, with all that being said, we know that Ripple is eager to work with central banks on potential CBDCs, and that easily transition, uh, transitions us here to the next thing, which Ripple just published today, stating that their university blockchain research initiative has now welcomed university partners in Africa the UAE, and Iceland driving forward this CBDC research. So here are the universities that have joined. The University of Cape Town, Reykjavik University, and New York University Abu Dhabi. And they have joined to solve key challenges in financial technology and advance real-world solutions for blockchain and cryptocurrency. The three editions join more than 35 global university partners already deeply engaged in blockchain research and building new use cases for fintech. Launched in 2018, UBRI, which is Ripple's University Blockchain Research Initiative, is helping to move the blockchain industry forward by providing faculty and students with the technical tools and resources required to thrive as part of the next generation of tech talent. Innovation and technological advances have traditionally stemmed from academia by supporting new curriculum, research, and technical problem-solving, knowledge-sharing, and convening, UBRI is leading the fintech workforce of the future. This is a very positive sign because you have Ripple partnering with universities to conduct research, to get young, uh, inspirational minds thinking about blockchain, and you have a great funnel in here when you have a university partnership like this you can attract and acquire a great level of talent into your employment pool as ripple continues to seek to grow and expand they will need to be able to bring in the best and brightest in this field in the blockchain industry to be able to compete globally with all of the projects that continue to pop up as well as exchanges and even the bigger banking institutions that are seeking to branch more into crypto and central banks even as a potential competitor for talent. So having this partnership and having established this within the last couple of years is a very, very big benefit for Ripple, the company, to be able to get the people in that they need to further their growth. 
Now, if you want to read more about the individual universities, this is linked down below so you can see what their focus is in this research, whether it's on CBDCs themselves or ODL. It's very interesting here, and you can check out those universities as well. I hope this information was helpful for you, and I thank you for being here and spending a few minutes of your day with me. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, do it. That way you can be part of the team here and hit that entry into the contest. I've got the Nano S sitting right here beside me. Just got it in the mail. The caps are on their way. I'm ready to mail out some of the giveaways here. So get into that entry and let's get to that 10K so I can send these out. I do appreciate you and drop me a like on your way out and I will see you in the next one.